it's Jess. I'm just going to leave a quick message with you all about the situation with the koalas in Australia. So what has happened is the very severe bushfires, many of them were in national parks, um, especially up north. So in Queensland and northern New South Wales, there have been huge problems with koala habitats and forests. So what has happened is there's been a large number of koalas uh, who have already died, except there's still many who are injured. So these ones have been taken to the koala hospital. Um, the koala hospital is in Port Macquarie. My mum's cousin actually works there. And so what they do there, they treat um, injured koalas and nurse them back to health. And the idea is that they'll get released back into the forest, the wild, when they're well enough to do so and when the forest has regrown. So there's a big problem because there's no forest to take them back to. So we need more spaces in our hospitals so we can keep them for longer. Um, so what you can do to help is uh, sponsor the Port Macquarie <laughs> Koala Hospital and it's about $40 Australian for a year. That's about maybe 100 Zwoty. And what this does is it will go towards um, rehabilitating and caring for the injured koalas as well as other things like um, maintaining the building of the hospital and research for diseases that can affect koalas, things like that. So money will be used very wisely, they really need it. And you can look online um, at Port Macquarie Koala Hospital and you can then pick your koala that you'd like to sponsor and yeah it's forty dollars australian for one year so yeah thank you guys so much for your help bye for almost 40 years the koala hospital has been caring for sick and injured wild koalas the goal is to save their lives and return them to the wild our work has given us unusual insight into the surprising life of koalas. They're not what you think they are. They're a marsupial, not a bear. And they're completely unique. There's absolutely nothing else like them on the planet. They're just adorable. It's hard not to love them. Over all other animals, I think these are simply the best. Yeah, Not every koala is the same. Each one responds to us in a different way. It actually tickles more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's really, he's quite gentle. Yeah. I've got a grown puppy leg, not back. <laughs> the last two and a half weeks have been frantic. frantic. We've had koalas coming in from the fire zones, as well as our regular um, the koalas here. How many have come in over the last, sort of, say, two weeks? So we've had 26 come in from the fire zone, a mix of really badly burnt and injured, and some looking quite healthy. How many, so out of that, ha have passed? One. one. So we've lost one, one koala so far, little Mary. She was very badly burnt, probably the worst out of all the koalas that have come in. And she developed a little res respiratory problem and we lost her last night. And look, I mean, it must be tough on, on, on everybody to see this, but uh, for someone like yourself who's running this, how hard is it on you and your staff to, to have to, to see this koala so hurt? It, it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, we, we give it our best to try and keep wildlife alive and we can see how the fires have gone through and devastated the, the, their habitat and we're trying to save as many as we possibly can. And Przejęliśmy, że w Australii jest dużo pożarów i że ucierpiało dużo zwierząt. Dowiedzieliśmy się, że można adoptować poszkodowane koale. Rozbiliśmy skarbonki, adoptowaliśmy z własnych pieniędzy. A nasz własny koala nazywa się Jimmy Siedemeczka.
pomagamy Australii z innymi krajami. Z Norwegią, z Rumunią, z Czechami, z Hiszpanią, z Włochami, z Holandią, z Turcją, z Portugalią. Do Londona!